Okay, so here's the situation. I have two parallel long wires, both of them carry an electric current of 0.5 amps, but the one on the top has a 0.5 amp current to the right, wire number two has a 0.5 amp current to the left, and they are separated by a distance of 0.01 meters. So the question is, what's the magnet magnetic field down here, which is 0.05 meters from the center of those two wires? So let's think about this first in terms of uh, the overall magnetic field. Let's suppose I was able to flip this and I'm looking at it uh, coming in and out of the paper like this. Maybe I should draw a little smaller. Let's draw it like right there and right there. So this is the, the current coming out of the paper, so I'm going to put a little dot right there. And this one's the current going into the paper right there. And I want to find the magnetic field down here. So this one, if I use my right hand rule, and I put my thumb in the direction of the current, my fingers show the direction of the magnetic field. So it's going to make magnetic fields that look like this, circles around that. And so if I get down here, I'll call this B1, the magnetic field due to 1 is going to be this way, B1, right? Because this is a circular path around that wire. And so then I need this distance from here to there, and I'm going to find the magnitude of B1. Now for B2, uh, it's going to be going into the paper. So it's going to have a magnetic field going in the opposite direction. The magnetic field due to wire 2 is actually going to be greater because the magnetic field due to a long wire is the uh, this mu naught over 2 pi, where mu naught is a coefficient, uh, magnetic coefficient. Uh, I is the current, and R is the distance from the wire. So since uh, this spot is closer to wire 2, Wire magnetic field 2 is going to have a greater value. Okay, so let's just write this down as vectors. So if I call this the x and the y direction, then I, let's find b1. It's going to be in the x direction. So I can go ahead and write 1, 0, 0. And then I'm going to have mu naught over 2 pi times i, which is, uh, I'll just write that as uh, i for right now over the distance. So how far is this going to be? This uh, this is, I should have used a better distance. Okay, so this is 0 0.005 meters plus 0 0.05. So this is going to be uh, 0 .0, 0 0.55 meters. And then for B2, it looks the same thing, except this is in the negative x direction, so I have a negative 1, 0, 0 component mu naught, it has the same current i, 2 pi. Now, but how far is this one? It's going to be 0 0.045 meters. So then the total magnetic field is going to be B1 plus B2. Okay, so let's just, uh, I'm going to switch over here to Python. I'm going to try something new. Let's see if this works. Uh, so now I'm in Python. And let's just do this in Python. So let's first write down our coefficient here. I'm going to call it uh, mu zero. Mu, I'm going to call it mu m u m u m u z o, and it's going to be four. Uh, it's going to be pi times four e to the negative seventh. And then I need i. It's going to be zero point five. I need. Uh, Let's call this R1. R1 is going to be 0 0.055. R2 is 0 0.045. And then I can calculate the magnetic field. So the, the key thing I'm going to have, they're both in the x direction. This one's going to be positive and that one's going to be negative. So let's just say B equals, let's just say B1. Let's do it as a vector. B1 equals vector. Uh, 1, 0, 0, just like I did before. And then all I have to do is type my equation, mu times i divided by 2 times pi, don't forget parentheses there, times r1. And then b2 is the same thing, except I have negative 1, 0, 0. And then I have times mu times i divided by 2 times pi times r2. 
and then b is just going to be b1 plus b2 and let's print that uh, let's save this two wires save it run it and I get b equals negative it's a vector negative 1.78973 I don't know why I carried it out that far zero zero Tesla and that's my answer okay let's do one more quick problem related to this why stop when we can keep going I can use the same situation let me just redraw it real quick so I have my two wires here's I1 and then I have my other wire down here I2 and these are 0 0.01 meters apart and so now the question is where is the magnetic field equal to zero the zero vector where would that be well let's just try to pick some places we're obviously going to be along this axis because these are infinitely long wires what about right there would the magnetic field be zero right there in the middle well let's see if I consider the magnetic field due to this one I put my hand my thumb in the direction of that current and as my hands come around it's going to give me a magnetic field going into the paper and this one is going to also give me a magnetic field into the paper so I can't get these two magnetic fields to cancel it's just not possible they're in the same direction well what about down here down here I have a magnetic field due to wire 2 is going to be now uh, out of the page B2 and 1 is going to be into the page B1 so could those two cancel well where could I be such that this magnitude is equal to that magnitude and then cancel and the answer is nowhere because B2 is always going to be higher than B1 because it's always closer to the wire 2 and the same thing is up here so in this situation there's nowhere that the magnetic field would be equal to zero now what if I did this what if I switch this so now I2 and I1 are in the same direction in that case uh, one I2 is going to make magnetic field 2 now coming out of the page this way so now these two in the middle would have the same magnitude opposite directions and they would cancel another way to get a zero magnetic field is to do this or very close if these wires are super close to each other I1 I2 in op and in opposite directions and I get over here then I'm about the same distance from both wires so I'd have a magnetic field coming in and a magnetic field coming out that almost cancel and you'd get very low magnetic fields and this is actually why when you have a power cord the two wires are right next to each other because the magnetic fields due to the two wires mostly cancel outside of that Okay, physics people, we'll talk later. Do another problem.